That's where I am right now. Do my big hike up the rock slide, get in shape for backpack hunts I'm gonna do. It's about a Mount Curry. We just scooted by this cam with this camera here and uh, came down, came from down there. The top of the mountain on the right hand side is where I normally make those videos where you guys can see all those crazy views and where the bear, the bears come out of the woods in front of me. That peak right there. My horses are up there and I'm right here and I'm gonna make a couple of videos <clears throat> right here. That's looking up pretty steep right now. If I was to go 90 degrees, I'd be faced like that. See that? That's 90 degrees. All right. So that is straight up above me. Okay, getting on with it. Okay, I'm gonna share. Whoop. Um, I'm gonna start, I start to share a lot more of the photos that I get emailed into me. They're just interesting. And you know what? People want some answers. They want to see my feelings on them. That's fine. Or they want to see what all you guys think about them. That's fine. But in the end, like I said a million times, they're just photographs, and in the end, the photograph's not going to do anything for this topic. Um, unless, of course, you know, if it was a photograph of somebody that's handling a, a bleeding Sasquatch in their hands or something like that. But, you know, it doesn't matter the quality. You know, it just, just doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what the quality is, how far, how close. It's not really going to matter. It's going to matter to the photographer, obviously. Like, I've tried to tell people, I, can't, I don't knock anybody. I get some pretty crazy photographs sent in me, man. Like I get some photographs sent in to me that would make you go, really, what did you send that to me for? <laughs> Think about it. You know, a lot of people see things that my eyes or your average eyeballs are gonna look at and think, really? That's a nice shadow in a bush you just sent. But whatever, teach your own. I don't know what they're looking at. I don't know, maybe they can see things I can't for real. I haven't a clue, I don't know, but they don't deserve to be un disrespected. But, um. Um, but uh, the, 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 the common theme with sh photo sharing from numerous people, like I said, I mentioned earlier, is people keep taking, getting lucky to get photographs of something, no matter what it is, and they never go back with a friend and duplicate the shot to accompany the photo they, they mail in or share with m myself or all of you. They never do it. Nobody ever seems to do that ever. I don't know why. Uh, but I'm going to share a few photos with you guys here. Like I had, unfortunately, I can't find the email that goes with these three trail camera pictures somebody out there mailed to me. But I, I loaded three photographs in a program. Why not? I was messing with this other photograph. I'm going to show you in a minute. So I loaded these two photographs, and I lightened them up a little bit, and then I played them back and forth like a video so you can see the movement. And I did that, and I'll show it to you guys right here. I mean, it's raining out today. It's before my hike. I'm caught up on all my stuff, kind of, and I did it. And uh, sure enough, there is an upright being walking through those three um, trail camera shots. But is it a Sasquatch? I don't know. I'll never know. You know, the person who owns the trail camera, you'll never know. <laughs> neither will I. And neither will anybody online watching these photographs. You know, you can see it's an upright being. It looks like from your typical description of the typical Sasquatch beings, the arms are, are definitely not long enough. enough on that being in the photo so who knows I don't know but um, but I did take a look at the photograph 
bore that out of respect to the person that mailed it to me. Unfortunately, I can't find the email that went with it. I'm sorry, I apologize. I can't, I've been a little, this past week's been a little off for me anyway, but um, oh, there you go. There's three photographs right there, and there's a classic example of why before you share photos with anybody, you need to duplicate it with another person. You need another person to go walk or stand in the exact same spot to accompany the photos that you share, okay? Because that will actually help shed a lot of light on yourself first and as well the people that you want to share it with and answer the questions that you're looking to get answered, okay? Now I got another one here, another, I got another, I did copy the the email that came with this photograph and I'll share this one here. You ready? Let's see what we got to say. Let's hear what, let's hear what they got to say. Hi, Steve. Oops, nope, that's not it. There we go. Hello, sir. I just found your show on YouTube and I like the topic and subject matter. I'm not very educated with social media, so please note that I believe in your work and you're a professional guidesman with years of experience and hard work. I contacted the BFRO three nights ago. M, the founder, okay, I contacted the Ugh. The BF, you know what, oh, three nights ago, Matt the founder emailed M Matt the founder emailed Memorial Day. I sent him the photo my stepmother took in Northern California where they live, and I haven't heard back from them. He told me he would give me his opinion, but hasn't so far, and after watching your channel, it doesn't sound like they're a legitimately reputable company. No, they aren't. Especially that sack of crap. It made me nervous for the safety of my parents. Rightfully so. All I'm asking is for someone who's experienced to take a look at the photo and help me decide if it's a black bear or Sasquatch. And if you'd be so kind to send me a return email with your professional opinion of what it maybe is. She didn't notice anything on her hike at the moment. We regularly text nature photos back and forth. When I received her photo, I called to point out creature. Oh my god, I can see it. It's more prevalent to view the photo in a dark environment and to zoom bottom center right of the pine cedar approximately 30 yards on the front left of the dog. It's very black and big, looking towards them, and I can see a face when zoomed in. I would think being New Year's Day 2020, bears are hibernating for the winter. Thank you for sharing with me your opinion. You can text me, call me, or return email, whichever is most convenient and time-saving for you. All right. I did email you back. I hope you got it. And I think I stressed to you too, you know, that that, that photograph is going to be of more importance to, to the photographer themselves and you than anybody else. And by the looks of that, I mean, that, those hills look like my backyard. And from what you can tell in that photograph, you look straight to the left, you can see how steep it is. And for me being a mountain hunter, all I do is look straight ahead. If I'm seeing treetops ahead of me, like in that photograph, it's steep. So it's safe to say it's steep, and whatever the black object is, it can be rest assured that that thing is at least 10 feet tall. By the distance it is from the edge of the road, how far it comes up in view, and if you look to the left how steep that ground is, holy shit. Whoever, uh, whoever, whatever that thing is, has definitely got some size to it, right? So here's a couple of examples of that photograph that was sent to me, and I lightened about myself and zoomed in on it just for the hell of it. Could be a face in there. Um, obviously, we'll never know. And but you know, and I, as I me emailed back the, to the person with the photograph um, to duplicate that photo, I don't even know if you're going to find anybody tall enough to duplicate that that being whatever that is in that photograph. I mean, who knows? Maybe you'll go back there and it'll still be there. <laughs> it's actually a fuzzy stump. Probably not though, right? But the key is, for this photo specifically, you have to go back there and you have to recreate that photograph. Um, put your stepmother in the exact same footprints, the exact same camera, and go and stand and take, take photographs individual as you back away. Like, you know, go back over the edge of the road, go back three feet, take a picture, go back three feet, take a picture, just keep going back until you get the same distance away from the camera as that object, and snap away and then compare it later, right? It might, if it's not there, and you do do that, you're probably gonna end up getting freaked out a little bit. <laughs> but, but anyway, there you go. There's a couple of items I shared with all of you. They were shared with me to share with you. And uh, it is what it is. Like I said, you know, I don't get angry at photographs, but I'm definitely not gonna go uh, 
go out of my way to try to make a business out of dissecting them, right? You know, it is what it is. They're photographs. Photographs are photographs. In today, today's day and age, if it's if you are motivated to prove something to somebody for some strange reason, um, just take note that it's the photograph's not going to do it. All right, unless you actually have your hands on something in your hands or is standing beside you holding on to your hand or has his arm around your shoulder. Um, it's going to be pretty tough. Do I go out and seek seek these things intentionally? No. Do I seek um, intentionally seek evidence to provide to the public? No. There's so much evidence out there right now, it's absolutely mind-numbing. The, the only thing that is amazing to me and has my curiosity is why the majority of us are so stupid. That's it. I just don't, I don't get it. Um, there's a lot of people out there having having a lot of problems with their with, there's, there's a lot of people out there having problems with their homes where their families are and they're concerned and there's nothing they can do about it and there's not really too many people out there that can help them there's a handful of people out there that can somewhat help you know Scott Carpenter has helped a lot of people but sometimes some of these things happening are so extreme there's nothing you can do about it man you and Scott were talking live pretty late last night about this very same topic and how these things basically hover around him almost everywhere he goes and he knows they're there he said it's to the point now he just talks out to them like it's a joke like oh what are you doing today how come you're following me around here you know starts talking to him and he said that actually can can mess them up but it can actually almost as well trigger them to start throwing shit at you even more and i don't know why i don't know why and um but i do know one thing that the farther you do dig into this topic as long as you don't get stuck and stagnant and stay somewhere on footprints and tree breaks and bunking on trees and you keep going forward with the information available, um, it, it doesn't take very long at all to understand and see that these things aren't just a random uh, cage animal. They aren't. These things are something far, far more advanced. And uh, it's funny, I talked to a few, I ran into uh, a couple of locals Yesterday, I think it was Tyrone and your wife, uh, uh, a native kind of native couple, skimmed said hide me a grocery store yesterday, and we talked for a little while. And he had some of the typical things happen: rocks thrown at him, and uh, screams and yells and stuff, and whoops and hollers. We talked about it from the parking lot for a little bit, and then uh, I was also talked to a Mount Curry native guy this morning on social media for quite a while, and he was telling me uh, a lot of stuff that he finds around here and sees. And they want to have a, we're going to meet up sometime and have a good bullshit session. They're going to share with me some stuff that they just don't share with outside of their community. Uh, information that's been passed down literally dozens of generations. And, and I find that knowledge very interesting. And uh, who knows, maybe it'll be something I'm allowed to share out of there. Maybe they won't be, I won't know until I get there, right? But, but anyway, at any rate, um, if, if it's, if you are seeking these things intentionally, um, if I could offer you up any kind of advice at all, it would be to, uh, to probably to tell you to, to quit doing it. Nothing good, nothing good has come from seeking these things out intentionally now for anybody. That's a fact.